There is such an incredible community back in the bayou here. Did you know that one third of the shrimp fishermen are in fact people who came over after the Vietnam War from Vietnam? Late today, the government closed off more of the Gulf to any fishing. It is now banned almost 84,000 square miles, 35% now off limits. So we wanted to know more about the people who woke up this morning on the water. The day begins, the sun rising as it has for more than 300 years over the Atakapa Ishak tribe, some of them married to Choctaws. We came here by water, no road, no cars. The children even picked up for school in a yellow school boat. In fact, the traffic here consists of flying fish and dolphins. Dolphin right there. Oh, is this a dolphin? Uh -huh. Can I help you? We stopped to see Betty Reyes, who's catching crabs outside the front door, just like her neighbors. Oh, we got a couple. It'll still make a soup. Oh, yeah. Betty Reyes takes me inside. On her walls, Native American memorabilia, dream catchers, used to catch the good dreams, send the bad away. Hi, how are you? When Thanks neighbors drop over. by, we talk about their favorite weekend cookout, the shrimp boil. Mounds of shrimp, crab, corn, potatoes spread out on newspaper. So that's going to be one of our, uh, you know, things that we're not going to be able to do because of the seafood not being good enough to eat. Betty shows me her freezer filled with pork and chicken. Taking us by boat, Captain Dwight, also a Takapa. How many bills do you have accumulated? Well, I'm caught up with it, but uh, next month I ain't going to be caught up with it. <laughs> he says there is still shrimp here in this canal. The business is over. We continue on up and across the Mississippi to Point La Hache. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you. you. Watch your step. Please. Another Sorry, kind yeah. of American crossroads. 20 years ago, a family came all the way from Croatia. My dad did this, and my great grandfather did this too. Is this one from? Vlaho Mečikovic, an oyster fisherman. In ordinary times, he could bring back hundreds of pounds of oysters. Yesterday, there were just two living ones. The rest had died. He doesn't know why. He can't see any oil or dispersant. This is an oyster by Stein. Is this oil? You can't see what you can't causing tell. it. I'm and smelling them. They smell very strong here. Yes, yeah, years it'll take for this to come back. His fishing partner, Stanley Inkalad. How we alive? Hard to sleep at you night? Show sure sleep. Yeah, you don't get no sleep no more. We move on down the bayou to Cajun country some of whom came all the way from French Canada. We meet a soft-shell crab farmer who gets up eight times a night to check on them. Local chefs and shrimpers, like Duddy and Diane Pochet, who now have to take food from the church charity. I have never taken food stamps in my life. But no difficult day can quench the hospitality. Before we go, some prized crab meat to take with us. Crab claws. And at the end of day, in another part of the bayou, the sun is setting on another community. This one, all the way from Vietnam. Back in the 70s, they were among the boat people. Hello. Hello. Oh, wait. Ciao. Ciao. 56-year-old Robert Nguyen lost three brothers fighting for the South in Vietnam. His father was killed too. Do you love it? Yes, I, I like the country. It's hard for me to go to start all over again. Not only me, but all the, the fishermen here. He's a shrimp fisherman, but he's managing to put this six one, children this through one, college. Big one becoming the doctor. And now they seem to be the forgotten community, wondering why BP keeps passing them over, why they choose boat captains from Texas instead of the fishermen who know these waters best. They're choosing who gets to work and who doesn't. And these people are feeling like they're being treated not fair at all. And that's not what America is all about. Oh my gosh. Like so many others yes. here, Robert's family lived through Hurricane Katrina. He showed us pictures. The only thing left standing of this house was the Virgin Mary. Yeah. Night settled. We're ready to say goodbye. They tried to teach me a Vietnamese saying. Jai Sang? That, that, that yeah. means after, after one day plan and next day will be sunshine open. After the storm, goodbye. Thank you. There will be sun.